Well, this is Artifacts of Mars. And yesterday, I was out doing the uh, solar obliteration uh, method of UFO hunting, and I came across a couple interesting objects. This is one of two. Unfortunately, uh, I'd love to show you the video, the live video, but it's not going to work so hot with uh, what I have to work with, so I'm only going to do stills. Now, what you're looking at, hang on. Okay, object one of two. This is kind of odd. I think this one probably could be dismissed. But I'm going to show it anyway. I have to do my uh, little arrow here. Now, kind of looks like an odd uh, jet trail, except it doesn't appear to be a jet trail. Just kind of, I don't know, straight linear cloud, maybe. I'm not sure about this one. Uh, just kind of odd, but I'm not sure about it. I wish I could give you... I really can't show you uh, in video because I was shaking the camera around. This just happened to get in the frame. So that's object number one of two. The other one is a lot harder to explain in conventional terms. Okay, this one's harder to see, but on the other hand, it's much more egregious because what I found is that it moves in the frame with cloud as I move the camera, which means it wasn't something, a speck on a lens or anything like that. It wasn't a bird. It was just hovering there. Now, the fact that it's moving with the camera, moving at the same pace as the hole in the clouds that I've pointed to on the right is proof that it's as distant as the hole in the clouds. This is not a close object. It cannot be an insect. It's not a plane or anything like that. And it's stationary. Stationary relative to the hole in the clouds. I don't know what happened to it, you know. I was holding the camera in my hands at this point in time because I tried putting it out earlier and the sun wasn't was going by in the clouds or the clouds were going over the sun, depending on how you look at it. And I spotted this object using the solar obliteration technique. I had to go in my car because the camera was running low on battery power. Here's another view of it. Stationary object. Long, long ways away from the camera. Up at cloud height. I said if this was close, when I was moving the camera around, this would move a lot faster than the hole in the cloud would. For the simple reason that that's basic physics. Same reason your uh, finger moves much more quickly if you wave it at the camera. It's just that it's closer. But this is not close to the camera. I don't know what it is. It's a UFO. I didn't come... My intention was to chase UFOs and see if I could come up with something. And this time I succeeded. Solar obliteration technique. That's where you just barely block out the sun. You can't look at the sun directly, you know, you fry your camera and fry your eyes, but um, you just barely block out the sun, then you place your camera in the shadow, and you point it up at the sky, and you see what you can find. 
Game of saucer shape is hard to tell. Let's see if I if it's possible to zoom in. Well, that's about it. Uh, I wasn't able to find so let's draw and zoom right up there at the top and I wasn't able to find out how to zoom it. So those were the two of my objects of interest yesterday. At least I captured something. Definitely UFO, uh, up in the clouds, not a hole in the clouds, too dark and too small for that, I believe. It doesn't appear to be a cloud in and of itself, so my guess is it's some kind of craft. That'll be it for today, thanks for watching, have a nice day, I'm Artifacts of Mars.